It seems to be the next step in what some call a natural progression. You meet, you fall in love, you start a family. But for thousands of couples in this country, nature has other plans. Tonight we begin our special series on infertility, who it affects, and what options we have here in central Illinois. Starting a family seems like it should be easy. All of my friends were getting pregnant because they wished it. Yet one out of every eight couples will have trouble trying to conceive. Are we ever going to be able to get pregnant? And is this ever going to work? Rachel and Nancy are two of the millions of women who unexpectedly faced infertility. It's a journey paved with frustration, and a lack of answers can lead to tension and turmoil. It can be hard on a marriage. It takes the spontaneity out of trying to get pregnant and out of your um, relationship because everything's very medical and timed and organized and that like gets old. It can also lead to desperation. If I told a woman to hang from gravity boots in a lightning storm and hold a lightning rod that that would get her pregnant she would do it. But how do you know when impatience becomes something more? <laughs> when do you cross the boundary into infertility? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Gary Horowitz is a reproductive endocrinologist. He says up to a quarter of all couples may experience problems conceiving at some point. If they do everything perfectly in one cycle, there's still only a 20% chance of becoming pregnant. It's a pretty inaccurate process. The technical definition of infertility is one year of unprotected sex without conceiving. Doctors say only a fraction of people seek help. If you're having major problems, not having regular cycles, um, some hormonal issues, we can start working on those and evaluating those before you get to the uh, year mark as far as infertility. Dr. Tamara Old explains some couples just need a little assistance. Just kind of simple drugs to help people be able to conceive. If they need more than that, we send them to uh, the infertility specialist. A variety of medical issues can cause true infertility, but sometimes the problem is simply a lack of information. We encourage both husband and wife to come. Paul Quartz is a fertility practitioner and teaches women how to use their natural body signals to help increase their chances of conception. Charting is also used to help those who are struggling. Women learn to chart the biomarkers of a cycle and with that information it becomes a great clinical tool to look at certain things that might be um, wreaking havoc in the women's cycle like unusual bleeding, PMS, endometriosis. Signs that Paul says may point to trouble. We're correcting the underlying issue. Maybe it's a hormonal imbalance and then hopefully we're able to help this couple achieve and carry this pregnancy to term. Another fertility myth? <laughs> Women are the only ones who face difficulties. People don't realize that more than half of infertility has a male component in it. Men have kind of said, oh, this is a woman's problem. Uh -uh. In fact, it affects men and women equally. But it doesn't make it any easier for couples to accept their diagnosis or to choose where to turn next. The hope and the belief that is so necessary to inspire people to go through this journey. It's not easy. I don't know if I could do it. It was an emotional journey for both Rachel and Nancy. And I just felt like we were never going to have a baby. And but neither woman would change their destination. I had no clue how gratifying the experience was. I thought I did, but it's the most wonderful feeling in the world to be a mother. While Nancy and Rachel both succeeded in starting their families, they chose very different paths. Our series continues tomorrow night at 10 with an inside look at in vitro fertilization.